Hey everyone, Paolo here. So welcome back to just another dang how-to channel. So this is another Salesforce DX tutorial. This would be part five. On this tutorial, we're gonna set up uh, CI CD on GitHub Actions with Salesforce DX. So just a quick recap. Uh, previous tutorial, we set up a JWT web-based flow to authenticate ourselves using Salesforce DX without a user interaction, without the need to enter username, password. So we need that to automate the stuff that we're going to do. So on GitHub, um, we're going to create an action which would run several scripts. So this would be automated. So we need some setup to be done before we could do this. So the first setup that we need to do is we need to store the server key but we don't but there's that that's going to be a security problem so we don't want to store the server key on a repository what we want to do is we we'll want to store an encrypted version of the server key so uh, if i open up my terminal here let me just quick clear this up and do a list these are the um files that I generated from previous tutorial, you could follow that up. This is creating the self-signed certificate and then creating the server key. So we want to encrypt the server key and then store it on our repository. So there's a nifty command uh, to generate that. Just going to copy it. So this is you using OpenSSL. It's going to use an encryption technology to encrypt. Um, so we are going to pass it a key, hash key and an IV key. If I hit enter, it's going to generate new IV key for me. So I'm just going to store that here. And finally, we're going to use those uh, key and IV hash to uh, encrypt the server key. So if I paste this, open SSL, salt. So input is the server key. Output would be server.key.enc, which indicates it's encrypted with base64 and the key hash would be the one we just copied for the key and IV would be the IV we just copied. So if I hit enter now and I do a list, you would see that there's now a new server um, key generated for me. So this is the one that we want to store in our version control. So let me copy that and back to Salesforce DX. So on DX, I want to create a folder uh, called assets. Let me just copy the file over there. Um, copy. There you go. So other assets, I should have the server key. So make sure you're on the branch that you want to perform the automation on. So let me just quickly check which branch I'm on. I should be on the staging branch. So I'm going to add the assets folder and git commit added server key. I'm going to push it to my remote repository. Cool. So it's now should be on GitHub. So if I go to my staging branch, uh, I now have an assets folder. So that's the first bit of the setup is to make sure you have the server key on your repository. So next is we're going to store some environment variables which are critical to deploying. So this um, we're going to use this feature called secrets which allows us to store environment variables inside uh, GitHub. So there's four uh, values that we need to store. Um, I'm just going to quickly go over to each one. So first is the de uh, decryption key. So decryption key would be the key that we just copied. So paste that in there. Make sure there's no line break and there's no space at the end. So click add. Uh, next is the, I'm going to create another one called decryption IV. So I'm going to copy that and paste that in here and add secret. Next is the consumer key. So the consumer key is the one where we created a connected app on the target org. 
that will be the consumer key so copy that from your connected app and paste it here notice when i paste it here it went to the next line so make sure there's no line break and there's no space at the end and next is the uh, username so i'm just gonna quickly copy this username and paste it here and that's all you need for the um, secrets so we have four variables that we're gonna call inside the action so let's get into the good stuff so click on the actions tab and from here you could see it's asked you to set up a workflow so basically a workflow is a job that uh, kicks off when you indicate something for it to happen like on a pull request or in a push to a certain branch and then would um, run into several steps for you depending on how you configure it so we're gonna uh, go ahead with the simple workflow as you can see there are several workflows here for different uh, languages so let's click on the simple workflow so give it a name I'm gonna call this uh, PR staging and there's a template here on what it's going to do so it's on push it's gonna trigger action here so we don't want it to trigger on the master branch I'm gonna remove that I want it to trigger on a pull request and I'm gonna change the branch to staging so the idea is I make a pull request it's gonna run the script make sure that my script is deployable before it even tries to deploy it to the target org and these are the jobs you could have multiple jobs build is the environment where it's gonna run on so run on uh, has ubuntu latest there's mac os and windows we're just gonna stick with the default ubuntu so this is a virtualized environment and it's gonna check out your code and it's gonna run several of these steps so we're gonna replace these steps with the one that uh customized for us so just gonna quickly replace this I'm going to walk you through those steps. So, um, so this is built on YAML. Um, uh, tabbing spaces are very, very particular. So make sure um, you got the tabbing right. So here, uh, we're going to do a build and deploy. So this is going to run this command, which is going to get the Salesforce DX command line tool, extract it, uh, untar it and then install it once it's installed we're going to run the open ssl tool this is going to decrypt the encrypted key and output a server key and then next is we're going to authorize ourselves so let me remove this echo here as we don't need it and remove that pipeline so it's not use pipe if you want to do multiple commands on one run so we don't need it it's only one run so this is going to use the same uh authentication with JWT that we did on the client side but this time we're passing the consumer secret which we stored as a secret the username and the server key which was decrypted by the previous step and same old stuff that we did on Salesforce DX and then we're gonna convert the metadata so we run Salesforce DX um, let me make this pretty and move it to the next line here yeah so we're going to run Salesforce DX. It's going to convert the existing metadata, the force app, into the uh, metadata format. And we're going to run a test only. And this is going to test, uh, deploy the converted metadata on a local test on a check only on the target org. So before you commit, make sure you change it to the branch that you want. So I'm going to uh, do this, propose a new file. And I'm gonna make a pull request to the staging environment. So when I do this, I click on pull request. It would say uh, this branch has no conflicts with the with the base branch. As you would see, the build automatically picked up. So if I open that and walk you through what it's doing. So this is the action that we just set up. It's setting up the job, it's, uh, setting up the environment, pulling the Salesforce um, CLI, it's building, 
decrypting, authorizing, converting the metadata, and finally running the unit test. And everything looks good. So that means our pull request is good. Uh, we could merge the code. But before we merge the code, we want to create another action which actually deploys our code. So if I go back to the workflow, actually, let's go to the code because I want to copy the, the same thing and move to the patch and click on GitHub workflows, uh, PR staging. I'm going to copy the whole code and just we're just going to quickly modify it slightly differently. So click on actions. I want to click a new workflow, uh, set this up. Um, probably not this way. Let's just go back to the patch. Click on workflow and I want to create a new file. I'm going to paste that file here and I'm going to say instead of pull request, I'm going to say push. And instead of running an empty check only, it's actually going to deploy the code once it's pushed. And I'm going to give this file a name, say staging that YAML and commit it. So we now have two actions on that file. One is for the pull request and the other is for um, actually deploying. So if I go back to actions here, some I mean pull request, it should kick it off again. Yep, as you can see, it's queued itself again. It's trying to check. So give it some time to complete. So everything's passed. I can now create a uh, merge this pull request. Once the pull request has been merged to the staging, I'm expecting that the merge is kicking off itself again. So if I do this and let's see what's going on under the hood, this should now try to deploy our changes instead of just running a test only check. Cool, everything looks good. I think it's working. So uh, let me open the org here. Let's say DX force or open. And let's go to status. Yep. So as you can see, the validate was done. Now this is actually deploying. How cool is that? So that's how you set up um, GitHub Actions with Salesforce DX. Hope you like this tutorial. If you have some questions, leave them below. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.